We had both our four of these shelves full and these two shelves over here full. Gotcha. Yeah. What we, did you cook today? Uh, we cooked chicken, hamburger, and hot dogs. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks, to everyone, for coming. Be a great day. Hot, but everybody stay cool. Just have fun, and we'll just keep the party going. Hi, everyone. I would like to thank you all for coming out and participating with us. And we hope you have a wonderful day. Now we'd like to bring up the person that runs our city, besides our mayor, our honorable city manager. Come on, Terrence. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully everybody's having a nice time. I certainly am. It's a beautiful day. How about it? Anytime an outdoor event is being planned here in the city of College Park, we always have to be mindful of the weather. And quite frankly, Councilman Gay, excellent job on the timing, September 24th. I know you were back and forth a couple times on dates. And so this worked out in So just here to congratulate everybody, congratulate Ward 4 for the second annual community festival. It's coming bigger and better every time, and it's easy to be supportive. So for the families and everyone else in attendance, please enjoy yourselves. And again, Councilman Gay, Mrs. Gay, and everyone else involved, well done. Enjoy yourselves and take care. Thank you. Thank you for the vision. Thank you for the hard work. And thank you for making sure all of us feel at home here, because we're sure going to have a good time. Thank you. Let's hear it once again, everybody, for Councilman Gay, Mrs. Gay, hanging out. What's going on, College Park, World War IV Festival out here having a great time. If you ain't out here, you should be out here. Wonderful time, you see all the beautiful people, all the wonderful rides, everything's going good, man. It's a joyous day, the weather's pretty hot out here, but hey, we're going to make it through it. Officer Wilder here, man, y'all have a good one. Now, Corey, what you're going to do, you're going to help me and the council, man. We're going to pick three winners, okay? And I want you to do is just look that way, but put your hand in the basket, okay? Ready? Go. Give me one. Just one, okay? Read the numbers off for me. Four, seven, four, nine, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it again for you because you said it loud nicely, but you just need some uh, volume on that thing, man. Four, seven, four, nine, two, three.
Thank you so much for attending. I was, I didn't you like it. Hey, 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 as usual. Thank you for the last year, and this is such a good thing that you are doing for our community. And tell us a little bit about the organization. Our organization is Pro for Purpose. We are a nonprofit organization. This is Tracy Hall and Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. She's coming back to their roots, College Park Chapter. Tracy, tell me a little bit about your organization and why you decided to partner with College Park. Once again, my name is Tracy Howard, and I am the president of Omicron Kappa Zeta Chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And we are based out of College Park, Georgia. So, like Councilman Gates said, we wanted to come back to College Park and give back to the community. And that's why we're here today. We're registering citizens to vote because that's very important. We're also giving out information on breast cancer awareness. And also, we want to be here to um, serve our seniors because they're an important part of the community. So, once again, register to vote. We're here all day. Please come out and vote. This is Keller Williams representing Miss Kiki, and thank you so much for coming out. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about your organization, why you decided to come out today? Well, I wanted to come out today to support our community and give back. Um, but what our what our company does, we actually help you buy, sell, and invest in real estate in the Atlanta and surrounding areas. So it's great to be here, and I'm so honored to be a vendor here. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Tell them about how you came about this recipe. Okay, this was uh, my father's recipe. Um, he's deceased now, and um, it's a family recipe. It's been in my family for years, and um, that's why I call it Callahan's Peach Cobbler. Oh, you good, Mike. I know, but she would have put the beat here. Hey. This is, this is D. Michael Hightower, College Park own, College Park native, representing the collaborative firm. Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about your organization, why you support College Park? I want to first say to Councilman Gay, uh, congratulations on another successful beautiful festival for Ward 4. Uh, congrats. Thank and you, keep sir. doing it. And we're just <laughs> glad to be here and joining you as we support all of College Park's planning and new development efforts. Mr. Gay, congratulations. Great day. This, Thanks. This, this family business has been uh, partnering with College Park, and they do a great job for us. They make the kids happy. They have quality service. Tell us a little bit about your organization. Well, we've been up and running for about 15 or 20 years. Yeah, we always dedicated to what we do. And all we like to do is make sure everybody be safe and have fun. That's the most important thing. Okay. The most the most important thing is we want everybody to be safe and have fun. That's the most important thing. And we we we's a company that's growing and we, we appreciate the business y'all giving us. We like to see more. Thanks. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> This is one of our vendors from Main Street, mm -hmm. one of our College Park own, a, a beautiful <laughs> pair. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, your store and, and your vision for being out here? Thank you so much for coming, man. Tell no moms problem. I said hello, okay? Tell a little doing? bit about why y'all came today. Hey, what? man, I came out here to support Mr. Gay. Anything involved with the community, Old National Entertainment is going to be here, man. We got a lot of good things going on. I came to see the I Dance team. They did their job. Um, anything, we got the cool bus, we got zombies for the kids, man, and they all support for the South Pole in the community, man. Good Great job. job. One of our good so much. Ward 4 residents, come on, Miss Gay. One. Tell us a little bit why you came this evening and, and why you didn't get a t-shirt. Well, <laughs> first of all, I didn't get a t-shirt because I was late. I'm very seldom late, but. Tell us a little bit about Ward 4 and what you like about Ward 4 going forward. Well, since I've been out here now for about, well, at 30 years, I've seen this councilman more than I've seen any other councilman as long as I've been out here. I'm a Fort Worth resident. Tell <laughs> a little you. bit about why you came. I came to support my community. No. And 
I came to support my community, Fort Ward, South Fulton County. Ward Ford, woo! Ward Ford, Fort Ward. <laughs> thank you. Great event, had a great time. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Gay. First of all, thank y'all so much for what y'all do. This is one of the most important products in our city. It's a lifesaver, and we just want you to tell us a little bit about and why, how important it is to the city of College Park. This is the Pulse Point, this is the Pulse Point booth, as you can tell. And basically what it is, it's one of the apps that you can actually download to your phone. And it's for the city. So if by chance there is some type of cardiac arrest or anything like that, you can basically log on to your phone, put that information in where it's happening, where it is, and basically it's gonna tell you. So if there are people out in the area that have the app, can see that there is CPR needed or AED needed. Those people can get to there maybe faster than the EMS. Well, you are an avid runner, right? Yes, I am. And you're a Ward 4 resident? Yes, I am. Tell us how important uh, healthy living and lifestyle is and why you pay so much attention to, to exercise. Um, well, it's an absolute necessity. And I personally pay attention to uh, healthy living and exercise because I have children, I have family, I have I have people who depend on me to be able to participate in life with them. And I, much like everyone else I would imagine, don't want to become a burden to those that I care most about later on in life. College Park! College this, is Ward, this is Ward for Finance right here. Let's introduce yes, ourselves. Starting with you, brother. My name is uh, Derek Williams. Pat North. No, we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that. Pat North. Dwight Gardner, 2601 Mayflower Road. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, I don't put it out there. Dwight giving yeah. everything up on TV. Yeah. Uh -oh. this, this, everybody, this, this is Ward 4 Finest. This is Ward 4 Finest right here. Don't get any better than this. On the count of three. Ward 4. One, two, three. Ward 4. <laughs> David got a beautiful car. What car is it, David? A 1940 Buick Century. This is a beautiful car. The reason why we ask for the classic cars because Ward 4 is such a diverse ward, and we have residents that are as old as 90. What, Wanda? 95. 95. So we figured that these cars that came out today are the cars that a lot of them grew so up with. David and I, on behalf of you know, hard work with Stories Co., we'd like to give you a, a complimentary. Okay. And just thank you so much for being with us today. I sure and appreciate it. It was anybody by Miss Anderson to you. All right, thank you. This is another one of the cars that I believe was around when Ward 4 back in the day. Like I said, Ward 4 is a very diverse ward with different ages, and we just wanted them to come out and show some of the cars that perhaps our residents grew up with. So on behalf of Ward 4, Tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, the Sister 8 Pontiac Catalina. And how long have you had it? Uh, about three years. You've done a heck of a job. Thank you, sir. For all your hard work, I wish that we could do more, but this is Miss Anderson. You yes. just give them, Oops, tell them which, okay. which uh, sponsor. This is compliments of Callahan's Beach Coffee, which I have right here. Okay. Um, it's a $50 gift certificate to the Olive Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out today. You did a beautiful job. Young man, tell us a little bit about this beautiful automobile and why you came out today to support the community. This is a 1973 Grand Prix Pontiac, and I came out to support a good friend of mine, uh, Custom Toys. Um, that's about it, 73 Grand Prix. Well, Miss Anderson is going to present you with a complimentary. Miss Anderson? I'd like to present you compliments of testing by confirmations, a $50 master card. Oh, thank you. Gift card. Thank you. Thank so you. On behalf of you coming out there, we really appreciate y'all for taking care of the community like All this. All right. It's Anytime. a good move, Anytime. man. Thank you so much. This is the team behind the team, behind the scenes. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of this game called Scissors, Papers, Rock? Rock, Paper, Scissors. Scissors. Damn. Rock, no, Paper, Scissors. Scissors. No, we ain't heard that when you were talking about it. <laughs> I need Officer Wilder and, and Running Wyatt, a long-time professional officer who helped 
piece this together, or put this together. I need you and Officer Wilder to battle scissors, paper, rock. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever order you said. Yeah. Whatever order. Ready? You only get one time. Hold on. Drum beat. Go. Scissors, paper. Ah, you gonna kill me. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Come on. hey, hey. You about to get a gift, so you better concentrate. <laughs> Ready? One. Come on. One, one two, two, three. Ah, he won. Run it <laughs> on behalf of the show, Scissors, Paper, Rock. You are the winner of awards for Trip. Complimentary. Who won? Say that again, it please. It is Rock, Paper, Scissors. and ask me, Miss Coco, it's so good to see you. I say, well, guess what? It's good to be seen. Because the statistics say it, it, I shouldn't be here. Not with triple okay, negative. Uh, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. We are based in College Park and we are so excited to be here today. We are situated right over here under this tent. You can see our banners. We are here um, giving information about breast cancer awareness and also on voter registration. You can do that today if you've recently moved. We can help you change your voter registration status. We can do all of that today. Um, we are excited once again, like I said, to be here in the community active with you all today and um, we hope to do a lot more events with you all thank you so much oh and also we have to get a big shout out to our brothers of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity who are also out here working with us to help get you all registered to vote because we all know that uh, your voice can only be heard if you vote so thank you all Hi. the power company in the city of College Park. It says hope, courage, faith, and strength. Believe that it took all of that and then some. That she may be filled unto all of the fullness 